Remember one video ago, exactly one video ago, I was saying about making more original and um, creative content on this channel. Well, here we are. This is a reaction video to the new Ball For My Valentine song called Letting You Go. And I'm hoping to hear something um, quite different than I heard in last two songs. Uh, I think it was Peace Of Me and um, Over It, because they were not bad, but they were pretty mediocre. Don't Need You was actually included in this upcoming album called Gravity, so that song I really liked, even though it sounded exactly like Shadow Moses by Bring Me The Horizon. But it definitely sounds like this band will go for a bit different sound. So I'm hoping to hear much, much more original music in this particular song called Letting You Go. So let's react to uh, Mullet For My Valentine, Letting You Go. Okay, a little bit of uh, electronics in the beginning. This is Matt, right? <laughs> sounds, sounds cool, his voice. Yeah, his voice definitely sounds great. So far. Ooh. Yeah, something's coming. I can feel it. <laughs> Oof. Uh, it's okay. So far. It definitely sounds weird, the mixing. It's like very, very tight. I don't know how to explain it properly. Okay. I can hear what they're going for. They're, they're going for like... More... Mainstream, but at the same time it's pretty heavy. I don't know if you can call it heavy necessarily, but... Okay, this is... Okay, see, chorus sounds... Sounds weird. That's, that's the only description I can get out of... I can get... Um, this part is great. This part, of course, is amazing. I love it. And this part, it feels a bit, like, empty. There's a breakdown? Mm, it kind of a breakdown. <laughs> okay, this is... Okay, another one, like, interlude. Okay, it's gonna be a uh, chorus again, let me guess. Yeah. See, this chorus sounds better because it has the lead guitar in the background much more. Like, it has a different motif. Yep. Again. Oh, got some screaming finally. Up there, somewhere there, the screaming, I hear it. Yeah. Definitely sounds... Alright, that's it. Um, my first, uh, first thoughts. Um, this is, this is definitely different. My expectations and my predictions were correct. Sounds a bit, a bit more mainstream, which is definitely not always a bad thing. I just can't get over the weird sound that they have now. There's something off in the mixing. Maybe it's just me, but like drums, they, they don't feel really as good as they sounded, for example, in Don't Need You. The main uh, thing we can get out of this song is that it's a new sound for Bullet For My Valentine and I think the whole 2018 is going to be a year of change because we still have uh, Bullet For My Valentine Gravity coming up. Uh, then we have uh, Kill Switch Engage new record which hopefully comes out this year and I think it's gonna be uh, somewhere in fall. And I'm really uh, looking forward to that and I hope that it's gonna be um, a different uh, sound for them as well. Lately Bullet For My Valentine was kind of stagnating, it kind of got repetitive with time and I think this is a fresh view on their music and I hope that it's gonna stay this way but I definitely feel like there is much more room to grow for them with this record and I'm hoping that's not these songs that you've released so far they're not the best songs of the record 2018 as I said is a year of change we had Machine Head we had Off Mice and Men we had The Plotting You we had recently uh, Parkway Drive with everybody was bitching about 
the fact that they changed the sound. And I absolutely think that's a nonsense, slamming on bands for changing their sound, because essentially that's what you have to do as a musician, you have to change. So that's the kind of feeling I'm catching from this song. Uh, definitely going to my playlist, I'm gonna listen to it a couple of more times. But right now it's just a decent song, nothing more. A Bull for my Valentine, letting you go, there you go.